Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is on the shield, of course. Let's talk about Fallout 76. Play the beta a little bit, where we're like 14 days away from the launch, so this is basically the finished game. For people that think, oh, it's beta, they're gonna fix everything, everything's gonna be fixed, changed, it's gonna run smoother. No, no, no. <laughs> You're so, so, so mistaken, okay? Uh, the thing is... You can't do much with a game like this in 14 days. Uh, you could maybe argue it's an older beta build, maybe it's a month or two old, so maybe a lot of things can change. The first thing that was just horrendous was the FOV. The FOV was very low. Uh, it's maybe not a huge issue, I understand, you know, they might add a FOV slider and that kind of stuff later on, so you can change the FOV, so you can get at least 90 instead of like 55 or 60 or whatever this was, because this was definitely not 70, it was extremely low. Um, whenever I was looking in a building, trying to see if there was anything cool to see, you kind of had to make three passes like this. You know, like, you, you don't have to do that. You, you shouldn't have to make three passes over one wall just to see if there's anything interesting to see. Like, you should be able to, unless if you're standing right in front of the wall, you should be able to clearly see the entire wall. Or, or at least with just one fail swoop of the mouse, you know, look once and you should be able to see what, what's there, you know. So, obviously the FOV is a huge issue. Uh, but, but an even huger issue, I would say, is a very, very stupid design decision by them. I mean, first of all, we have like lens flares and all that dumb shit that, that really should not even be in movies. But I can, I, I can tolerate it in movies, that's okay, you know. It's a movie. But this is a video game, like, you don't get lens flares in your eyes. Like, maybe if we had, like, some thick glasses on, like me, maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe, like, it would be a little bit of, like, a glare or something on the glasses, but you don't really get a lens flare when you wear gra glasses either, you know. I don't know, very strange decision. But th that's not actually the biggest, the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that they have made some kind of a weird... Um, Focus. So, so you know, you know how the human eye works. Like wherever you focus your vision, that is what's gonna be clear. That's gonna be what's in focus. And everything else around you, you know, on the outskirts in your per per peripheral vision, I think you call it, uh, is blurry. But you don't really notice it's blurry unless if you're trying to pay attention to your hand over here, and then you move your head and you look at it, and you're, it's clear, you know. But here's the deal. We see, I believe in, what is it, 120 degrees? Basically 120 FOV, or if it's maybe even as much as 180. Like, I can still see my hands over here, even though it's, it's like flat with my head. Like, you, you see a lot. Like, I see my entire wall. I don't have to look like this to see my wall, you know? I see everything on the wall. Uh, so that coupled with the 60 FOV, it makes it feel like you're playing the game uh, with binoculars, like this, and then someone took sandpaper to the edges around the binoculars, and only a tiny, maybe 10 FOV, where you can actually see see clearly. Like, you, if, if you're looking at the ground, anything in front of you far away is super fussy uh, and blurry, like, it, it's horrendous. Just god-awful, okay, god-awful. Uh, the Pip-Boy interaction on PC. God awful as well. This is something that should be able to be fixed pretty quickly. So it's not a big deal really. Maybe even these previous things could be as well. Uh, maybe not a big deal. But uh, Pip-Boy... God, like, like you're trying to click one button and... Uh, it's, it's like the screen is kind of like bent, kind of like an old TV. You know, it's not flat like in most of the Fallout games on PC. But it, it's like bent to make it look real, you know, like like you're actually lifting your arm and looking at it, you know, and because it is like that, you can hover over a button, click it, and it will still not click, L like, you have your, imagine you putting your, your mouse cursor over the X on Chrome right now, for example, and you click it, nothing happens, and you have to move your mouse more in the middle of the button to actually make it work, it, it's like a button that only works if you click it in a specific position, kind of like a very old space bar, you know? Like you hit space bar on a really old um, keyboard, if you hit it very far to the left or very far to the right, it might not actually register you pressing it, because it's kind of like, you know, going like this instead of going down 
properly, you know. So, like, the, the Pitboy interface was awful. All the menu interfaces on PC was god-awful. Uh, for example, if you wanted uh, to change, like, audio and music and stuff, it didn't seem like it mattered, whatever you did in, in the audio, to change the music volume, for example. Didn't affect it at all. Uh, if you wanted to increase the volume on uh, tapes, for example, holo tapes, instead of increasing voice, so that goes up, didn't do anything. You had to increase the radio volume then. So I'm guessing radio is like pit boy sounds. Maybe they should name it that then instead of voice. I don't know. Like tons of these things. My water, for example, I had no water <laughs> in my playthrough. Instead of the surface of the water, it was just completely white. Just just white. Nothing else. Just it looked like all water was paint. Uh as soon as you got into it, and if you got under the surface, it looked like normal, you know, but but definitely some bugs. Uh, the performance was god-awful. Like, I got a pretty good PC, you know, like, sure, it's getting a little bit old, but I got a 1080. It's not a bad PC, and it, it did not run very good at all. Uh, the options in the menu, I mean, th this was, I don't even know if you could call this a PC port. I would rather say... This, this was like bare bones. This was as bad as this could get. And then on top of that... It's so immersion breaking. There's no NPCs to talk to. So so when you do the when you do a mission, for example, let, go to Alex and and learn to do this or find out what happened or whatever. You know, the person you're gonna go find is always gonna be dead, and you're always gonna find a note or or a tape. You know, you're never gonna find another living being, except for you know monsters, and except for other real players you will run into now and then. And it is extremely immersion breaking, seeing just tons of random people running around in your Fallout game. Because it looks like Fallout, and it feels like Fallout. I'm not a huge fan, like, disclaimer, I'm not a huge fan of this fact that, like, random other real people are gonna be running around in my Fallout game, shooting the monsters I'm tasked to shoot, looting the same box I'm gonna loot. But even though they just looted it, the loot is still in there when I come and loot it, you know. Like, these things might be a less of an issue when you play longer, you know, because the map is really big. Maybe there's only, like, 20 people per map. So you might run into one dude every five hours. So, like, this might not be a big issue normally. But it was extremely immersion-breaking. Uh, but, but, I did, I did very much get that feeling of, this is Fallout. You know, like, like, I wanted to find out what happened. I wanted to go find dead people and read the notes, listen to the holotapes. But that's not really enough. You know, like, like, sure, if you're a huge, huge, huge Fallout fan, maybe you're still gonna enjoy this a lot, you know. I don't know, like, this is my personal opinion, of course, but... I can't, I, I, I just don't see how this is a good game. This feels like they took Fallout and they had this idea of making a cool PvP kind of a thing where you can play with your friends and it can be PvE as well. But the PvP sucks. It is nothing cool with it at all. To me, all this looks like is an excuse to have microtransactions. Because guess what was in the game, in the beta? I'm pretty sure there was microtransactions already that you could do. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm not. I shouldn't say that. I'm not actually sure. I heard people say it, so I, I shouldn't say for sure. But like the, it, it, the feeling I'm getting is that this is a cash grab. This is to play on the people that like Fallout. They have put minimum effort into it. They made it like a multiplayer. That's just their excuse for not putting in intricate, nice, elaborate quests with different endings, depending on which choices you make, different outcomes. Depending on which choices you make or how you how you do your tasks that you're asked to do, like all those things that make Fallout so enjoyable. Because Fallout, it feels like you take on you know the role of the lone wanderer or the courier or whatever you know, but you can make it your own story anyways. Just like The Witcher, like you are Geralt. Yeah, you're not some fucking random Joe Smo. Like you are Geralt, you know, in The Witcher. 
but you can do certain choices that Geralt could make, you know, same as certain choices that maybe the Courier or the Lawn Wanderer could make. I, I guess you get a little bit more freedom in Fallout actually when it comes, or in general at least in Fallout, when it comes to how evil or how good or how in between you want to be, you know, in the grey zones and whatnot. It's just, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say really, it's a it, huge, huge disappointment. I would say keep your money, spend it on something else, or at least wait, wait. I personally, I got a refund for the game. I think you should as well if you already pre-ordered it, because I do not see any chance in hell that this is going to be enjoyable on PC on launch. Not even the first couple of weeks like it normally is. You know, I know there's usually some bugs in the beta set games like Fallout, Skyrim. You gotta you gotta go in there, turn off mouse acceleration maybe, and then maybe turn off some other dumb shit uh, or increase the FOV or whatever because you don't have an FOV slider yet. But they usually fix that after a few weeks or maybe a month or two. But I feel like there's too many underlying issues with this, and this feels like this feels like the No Man's Sky of Fallout. It feels like they had a cool ID, but they haven't fleshed it out. It seems very hollow. It seems very thin, you know, like it, it's not some thick piece of yummy, juicy, like a little bit bloody steak. We can just um, have a big bite out of, you know, and many more big bites. It feels like we can get a little bit like, oh, nice, you know, but that's it. That's it. You know, that's, there's no more, you know, I don't know. I mean, there, there might be end game stuff that is really worth doing as well so obviously like it's it's too early to judge the game completely and say don't ever buy this game but i definitely think i can honestly say that you should not buy this game on launch you should not pre-order this game you should not have any hopes of enjoying this game especially not on pc the first couple of weeks up to the first couple of months wait save your money feel free buy the game if it gets good reviews, and if you see some streamers playing it, then it works great and all that stuff, but from what I can tell, pretty much anyone who likes Fallout the way Fallout has been for a long time are not enjoying this. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Sorry for sounding a little bit negative, but save your money, it might be good further on, you know, but do not buy it right now. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.